Hello everybody. Welcome to GST Zen. In this video, I am going to show you a live demo of e-invoicing through GST Zen's database integration. The database integrator that comes with GST Zen supports multiple databases. The popular ones such as Microsoft SQL Server, Oracle, PostgreSQL and MySQL. In fact, if your database can provide ODBC, GST Zen will be able to connect to those databases as well. So this database integration is one of the integrations that come with GST Zen. We also have the GST Zen's building software in which you can prepare invoices and the Excel connector. And there are popular other ERPs that GST Zen supports. This demo is about the database integration. Before being able to prepare invoices and e-invoices, you should first get an account in this website einv-apisandbox.nic.in. So this website is now open to taxpayers with annual turnover above 100 crores. Let's now see a schematic of how the database connector works. First, you have your ERP or your database which stores all your invoice data. Users will use uh, front-end software either written in the desktop or cloud-based software and uh, all that data will come and sit in this database. So the GST Zen's ERP connector is an on-prem uh, software. So this will run in your network locally and therefore you don't have to expose your database to the internet. So this connector will sit next to the database or even in the same computer that runs the database and it will pull invoice data. That's the step number one. Then the connector will validate it and uh, create the proper uh, JSON format as per the schema and push it to the IRP or the government portal and register the e-invoice. GST Zen will receive acknowledgement from the IRP portal and whatever acknowledgement number, the IRN number it receives, it will write it back to the ERP database if you provide so. GST Zen also comes with the on-prem dat database connector with a cloud integration. In this uh, setup, you can optionally push the data through GST Zen's cloud in which case you will get the other benefits of GST Zen software such as reconciliation, return filing and uh, reports. So that's the difference between uh, using the cloud and uh, not using the cloud, uh, GST Zen cloud. What are the benefits of the database connector? The key benefit is that it works with any ERP. You do not have to configure your ERP specifically for e-invoicing. Usually we, we see a lot of customers who come to us, they have in-house ERPs or the ERP is built by small IT companies. It is now going to be difficult or not feasible to add e-invoicing support to these ERPs. In other cases, these ERPs are written by large vendors who are outside India. For example, the parent company purchased some software from the US or from Japan. So these uh, ERPs, again, are not going to come with um, e-invoicing support in the immediate future, right? For these uh, systems, the database still contains uh, all the necessary information. And so we should be able to fetch data from the database and uh, prepare e-invoices. So the users who prepare the invoices will not be disturbed. They, for them, their workflow is going to remain the same. It's only the IT team and the finance team which will configure the e-invoicing integration and everything will work smoothly. There's no additional work required. It's just the one-time setup. The other benefit of using the database connector is that there is, it's high data quality. It's whatever data gets stored in the database will get read directly. Well, there is almost zero scope for errors. In order to install the database connector, the, these are the steps. The first is to understand your database, understand where the invoices are stored, how the fields are linked together. Ideally, prepare a view so that GST Zen can fetch the data easily. Map all the mandatory fields in the e-invoicing schema. This is for your compliance requirement. And then go one step further, map all the optional fields as per your business requirements. You might have things like a barcode number, or batch details, warranty period, or a product serial number, and so on, right? 
spend the time and uh, do the effort it's a one time activity and map all the fields uh, that as much as you can and once you have a good e invoice uh, schema with all the details uh, from your side right that, that's job done and after that you don't have to go back you don't have to revisit again your system will work for uh, several years and produce uh, high quality e invoices with all the information that your recipients will need once the setup is done you simply sync the invoices at a push of a button optionally we can configure auto sync to fetch the data from your database periodically now let's get to the live demo here i am looking at the screen of gst zens on prem e invoicing dashboard there are multiple tabs here one tab is showing the gst numbers the other is a dashboard showing invoices that are created here the number of invoices that is generated pending cancelled and so on here is the listing of invoices and here is the tab where you can sync the invoices from your database so this is all empty so let me get started let me first add my gst number let me add the gst number So I added the GST number. It takes me to the dashboard, and I can see that there are no invoices here. So the next important step is to log in to the IRP website to make sure that you are able to log in with your the credentials. As we mentioned earlier, you can get it from the NIC IRP's website. So please get those credentials and see if you are able to log in here, right? Once you do this, you should uh, see a message that you have logged in to the e-invoicing portal. If you are seeing this message, it means all is well. Let's go back to the home page, and now here is the most important task of the connector, which is to map to connect to the to connect to your database and map all the settings. We can see that there are two settings. The first is the data source. We have to uh, provide which database we are going to get data from. The other is to mapping the settings between your database and the e-invoicing schema. So first, let me connect to the database and uh, show it to you here. So I have provided the credentials such as the host name, the database port, the name of the database, the username and a password. And so after I save the settings, you will see that we have indeed uh, successfully connected to the database. And uh, if you want, if you want to use a different database, you can click here and change the connections. Now let's get to the most important, important part where we are going to map the database against the e-invoice schema. Once you click here, the software will show you the list of all tables in your database. Uh, for this purpose, we have created a view called invoices for IRN. So let me use this view. Once I use this view, I will now be able to map my database to the e-invoicing schema. So there are various sections from the e-invoicing schema here, such as the document details, the supplier details, the recipient details, and the line item details. Let me go over one by one and show how to map them in the interest of time i'll do this for one section uh, one uh, section i'll then pause the video and i'll do the rest and go over all these sections because mapping them will take quite a bit of time let's understand how the mapping works here is the field there is there is a field called document type in the schema and you it's your job to provide where this value is going to come from you can choose the value either directly from the database or use a constant value in my cases, this table contains only invoices, so I'll simply use a constant value called INV. You can also provide an optional transformation. So in, in any case, I have entered INV here, and so here 
it is showing me this is the value that will go into the e invoice let's now get to the interesting parts so i'm going to map document date this has to come from the database so there is a column in the database called invoice date and i'm going to use that once i select invoice date you will see here that the date from the database so we pick some example rows from the database and show that here so you can see that uh, the date uh, is captured so this is march 3rd so let's next pick the document number again from the database so this is going to be invoice number and so this is the invoice number from the database Th there is additional field here called is export we don't have exports so we can leave this blank in which case GSTZN will take the default value as no or if required we can provide that as well the same thing is for reverse charge so place of supply is a very important field and is a mandatory field so I will take it from the database and so there is a field called place of supply and so we see here that the place of supply is Maharashtra the good thing about this software the good thing is that you can provide place of supply as the state name or provide it as a state code uh, however you are storing it in your database gst zen will uh, be able to convert it into the correct format as required by the schema so i'll pause the video right now and i'll fill all the fields and then i will come back let me just show you before doing that how to save so you save column mapping so this will get saved into the database now if you can go back you will be able to review that these are the fields that you have provided you will still see that the status as pending you will see the status as pending uh, because you have not mapped all the fields now let me go back let me map all the fields and as i mentioned it's going to take some time so i'll pause the video and i will come back to you once i have entered values for all the fields welcome back i have filled all the fields let's just review some of them so for the supplier details i have provided the supplier gst number to come from the column name gst and it shows me the gst number again for legal name i do not have a field in the database so i simply type it here uh, same for address i simply type the address as a constant since it's my gst number this is the address that i want to appear in the invoice uh, i've given the phone number i've given an email address as well now let's go to the recipient details I'm providing only the mandatory field. So here is the recipient's GST number. And I don't have fields in my database for the name of the recipient. And therefore, I simply use the GST number for now. Once we add those fields into the database, we will uh, include those correct fields. Coming to the line items. Uh, so we have a field for HSN and SAC code, which we are entering here. So the item description uh, has a column called item description and the software picked up that is a GST Zen software license from the uh, database. So there is a value of course quantity. I think it's not entered in the database in this case. So GST Zen will use the value one. So there is a UQC with the numbers, the taxable value, and the tax rate. And so the, I have mapped all these columns. Um, coming to tax rate and tax, uh, uh, tax uh, amounts, so there are columns in the database for IGST rate, IGST amount, CGST rate, CGST amount, SGST rate and SGST amount. However, we will provide only the tax rate here and we will let GST Zen calculate the other uh, the rates and amounts as applicable. So that's pretty much it. So I will save column mapping and then I can go back. So once I'm back here, I'll see that the mapping is complete. Uh, GST Zen will consider this complete if all the fields, the mandatory fields are uh, provided. And you can also review the various sections uh, of the e-invoice. So this is the supplier details and you'll see which field of the schema it is coming from. Uh, what is the example value either that you have given or picked from the database and so on. So this is the end of the configuration. Once you have done this, um, you are pretty much good to go for a very long time. You should be able to, as long as your database schema does not change, you should be able to import uh, data from the database and uh, keep using this database. Now let's get to the most uh, interesting part here and let's see how this actually works. All you have to do is press a single button called sync invoices. There are about 100 invoices in our database in about a second or two. Yeah, you will see that it's uh, those 100 invoices are synced because it's... Uh, 
if it were excel integration it would take some time so this is di direct database integration so there is no not much effort uh, it gets um, there's no parsing that the software has to do so data uh, the software will get the data very quickly so now you can see here that uh, this is the count of documents on at various uh, time periods uh, so you can see how many invoices were created th created this week and you can see some of these are pending and some of these are uh, generated so the reason that you are seeing some pending is that so gst zen is the, running there in the background and uh, gst zen is uh, creating uh, e invoices as we speak um, so if i refresh this page uh, in some time so you will see that um, all invoices are coming as generated i will not do that right now let's just wait a few seconds to show that i can show you the listing of invoices as well so in the listing of invoices you will see the status here some of these have green ticks indicating that the invoice is generated some of these are still um, with the orange mark indicating that the invoice is yet to be generated so let me refresh this page and now you will see uh, everything generated and you will see uh, invoices uh, all invoices with green ticks you can uh, view one of these invoices so here is the irn number of this invoice here is the supplier gstn recipient gstn invoice date and other details here is the line items that we have captured the amount and so on so this what we have done again we have taken the data from the database we have brought it here into the e invoicing schema we have also gone to the irp portal we have generated e invoices and we have uh, stored it here we if uh, required the pdf is also available the pdf contains the qr code from the government you should be able to print it as well that brings me to the end of the live demo so let me provide our contact information so you can get in touch through our website and our contact details are there you can email us uh, call us or write to us on whatsapp we will able to we will be able to support you for your e invoicing needs as i mentioned if you have any erp any database do not worry about e invoicing gst zen will be able to support you thank you very much